What an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day. Bright, sunny, nice warm rays hitting your skin. It's gonna be about 60 degrees. Get some good desert hiking in. Absolutely no shade, no trees on this trail. It is a skyline, ridgeline trail that overlooks all the canyon, uh, walking the rim of it basically. So, um, yeah, gonna be a fun time, but <laughs> the mile up to the trailhead here is like an all dirt road. <laughs> Not too bad, but a little rough in spots. But yeah, as you can see, man, it's uh, coming into it. Boom. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Yeah, that's where I'm going to be walking up. That beautiful rim right there. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Can't wait. My kind of trail it didn't start off with a thousand feet right off the first mile kind of slows you get slowly get you into it and now I'm uh, coming up to the first mile and it's uh, definitely getting a little a little steeper but I love it because it's dry obviously desert conditions but there's big rocks here, let me show you. So the trail has these rocks, which, you know, when they're skeet or small stone or almost sandy conditions, it, it's tough because you slide a lot, no matter how good the traction is on your shoes. So I, me personally, I love this kind. A lot of people don't like it because it jabs their foot. I don't know, maybe they're rushing too much. I like it because you always could put your foot somewhere to catch you if it is slippery. This is not going to be slippery today. It's not even that windy out, so it's really perfect conditions, to be honest. And I feel weird because most of my videos, I have the, <laughs> the phone in my right hand. But as of right now, the view is over there. I don't know if you can see it. Down there's a canyon. Still got... Well over 2,000 more feet of elevation, so there's going to be a lot better views on the way up. Uh, but that's where we are right now. This is my, this is my world at this moment. moment. I will uh, see you all in a bit. Right here is where I've been coming up. 
as you can see, it hugs the ridge, the rim, whatever you want to call it, all the way across with that in the background. And as you've already seen, you got this on the other side. And then once we get up to the top, there's going to be a couple other peaks that's going to be able to be seen from up there. But yeah, I'm not going to lie, because I'm heavy packing right now, because I'm obviously training for the PCT. So sometimes this heavy pack feels like it's pulling me when I get really close to the edge, like what I'm about to do here. So I get a little weak, a little nervous in the knees, <laughs> but it's all good, part of the rush. All right, y'all, talk to you in a bit. So right up there is where I'm going, I think. I've already passed two spots that I thought was going to be the top of this, the highest elevation on this side, but uh, not yet. So maybe that be the place. I don't know why I can't talk today. Maybe that will be the place or maybe it won't be. Uh, but as you can see in the distance here, you got some snow and precipitation going. So that's kind of the north. North, uh, maybe a little northeast. But then you come over here. You got sunny, it's clouds in the sky, but sunny. And this is the ridge line that I'm walking on. Come down over here, you go to the south, still sunny, still sunny. And then you come to the west, and that's where the storms are. And they kind of wrap around this whole peak, mountain, whatever you want to call it, that I'm climbing right now. I keep looking at the radar and it looks like it comes nowhere near here. It like stops a good 10, 20 miles, but I'm keeping an eye on it. I definitely don't want to get stuck in this. That would not be good. Even though I'm ready for, you know, weather that happens, still want to keep an eye on it and not put yourself in that situation if possible. But uh, it looks like it's just going, coming from the west and going north as it comes so it's like missing all around this peak in this area but uh i'm gonna keep an eye on it all right i tripped on a rock there <laughs> it'll happen sometimes when you have about a thousand rocks per foot <laughs> all righty y'all see you in a bit
So now we've uh, started going down a little bit, uh, but we're still we're still about another thousand feet of elevation here. So it's just down. I guess to uh, get your wind back. I don't know if you can hear me. It's a little windy up here. Not too bad. But thought you'd like to see this side of it while I'm walking here. Storms all over here. See some ridges over there. I don't know if you can see that. Easier way to do this. It's right over there. Obviously you see the storms, but over there you have a peak, and we're gonna see that better from the top. Uh, that might be Mount Rainier right there. I don't know yet. We will see at the top. Hopefully, we won't be too blocked in from the storms to be able to see that stuff. It all looks much closer than it is. Most of that's about 10, 20 miles away, according to the radar. Higher elevation, as you can see, there's still snow on the top of some of those peaks. Definitely not over here. And now we're getting closer back here to the ridge. Got away from it for a little bit as we went down, and now we're gonna start going back up again. So, we'll talk in a bit, or you'll see me in a bit. just really picked up <laughs> almost blew up some going up to this uh, last ridge before heading back I don't know if you can see it there's a little bit of snow flurries coming down it's in the 40s up here so I don't think it's gonna stick or anything but the storm is still way over there that's just blowing because of the wind If it was clear over there, you could see all these peaks, but not very clear. So up there, right there, that's where I came up the first time, and I came down over here, come down here. Now, I'm up to that peak, and I think that's the last one. Right now the wind's not too bad, but goodness, it almost blew me over there for a second. Funny how a heavy backpack makes you top heavy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep going and try to get to the end of this before heading back. All right, talk to you all later.
heading back. About four and a half miles back. Great little hike. Just wasn't so windy up here, but it's okay. Still a fun time. Till next time, live life.